George has found an enormous bone. Dinosaur. <laughs> it might very well be a dinosaur bone, George. Ha! What's this? Grandpa Pig has found a gold coin. It's treasure, Grandpa. How is the pond coming along? Very well. We've dug up a cup, a dinosaur bone and a coin. It's buried treasure. How exciting. I have a little treasure too. That is not treasure. That is a gnome. Grandpa Pig does not like gnomes. Mr Fox says it's an antique. Very rare. One of a kind. Of course he did. Grandpa, do you think we really have found buried treasure? I'm not sure, but the museum would know. This is the museum. Hello, can I help you? Hello, Mr Rabbit. We've dug up some treasure. Let's take a look at what you've got. Mmm, a fine china cup. Interesting. What else have you brought to show me? Your mom! Made of gold. Is it real plastic gold? No, it's metal gold. Ooh. Anything else? <laughs> My goodness, this bone is the best of the lot. Look, it fits my dinosaur perfectly. Hooray! Thank you so much for bringing these valuable objects in. Valuable? So they are worth something? Oh, yes. They are worth lots of money. And you can visit the museum any time you like to see them. Eh? Children are free. And you, sir, get in half price because you are old. Can I just ask where you dug up such treasures? In Grandpa's garden. All digging must stop until an expert has been to investigate. Are you sure, George? It looks a bit high. Daddy Pig doesn't like heights. Moo! Hurry up, Daddy Pig! Oh, I'm not getting on. George is too small to go on his own. Oh, OK. Make it quick. Oh, it's very quick. <laughs> George has changed his mind. Oh, dear, George. <clears throat> Come to Mummy. Maybe I'll just get off, too. George, away! Have fun, Daddy Pig. Uh... Oh, it's stopped. Well, I'm glad that's all over. <laughs> oh! Daddy. Uh, yes. Lots of fun. Friends spilled fire. Mummy, what's that? Go round and put your head through that hole. Now what happens? <laughs> <laughs> Susie, you're a tomato. Look, I'm a carrot. Oh, yes. And I'm a pumpkin. Pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the dinosaur garden. Ooh. Say hello to my dinosaur friends. Uh, don't be frightened. They are not real. But this is exactly how they would have looked walking the earth together. No, it's not. What? Triceratops lived in the Cretaceous period. The Stegosaurus was Jurassic. They would not have walked together. How do you know that? I'm a clever clogs. Anyway, who wants to ride one? Me, me. Why have you got dinosaurs in Potato City? Uh, because dinosaurs ate potatoes? No. Anyway, children like dinosaurs. Dinosaurs! Dinosaurs! <laughs> Oh, look, someone's got a party invitation. It must be for me. It says, to George Pig from Edmund Elephant. Please come to my party. Doesn't it say George and Pepper? No, just George. Hmm, I didn't want to go to a silly baby party anyway. 
Hello. Oh, it's for you, Pepper. It's Emily Elephant. Hello. Hello, Pepper. Do you want to come to Edmund's party as my friend? Oh, yes, please. My mummy wants us to help with the little ones. Help? Yes, I can help. Danny and Susie are helpers too. Oh, goody. <laughs> Everyone is here for Edmund Elephant's party. <laughs> oh, the helpers are here. Hello, Mrs. Elephant. Let's get this party started. <laughs> Who wants to play musical statues? Yay! This is what you do. A medal. <laughs> George has got a medal. <laughs> Pass the parcel. Oh dear, George isn't passing the parcel. Has one. Yeah! Mummy, pass the parcel is finished. Um, lovely. Now it's time for food. Hooray! <laughs> oh, the helpers have taken all the seats. <laughs> this is Edmund's party, remember? The helpers can eat after the little ones. Oh, oh yes. yes. We're the helpers. <laughs> the party. Thank you to the helpers. You all worked really hard. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get it. Yes. It's not easy looking after little children. <sighs> I need to lie down. I need a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and her friends are a playgroup. They are dressed up in costumes from different countries. Today is International Day, when we celebrate all the countries of the world. Hooray! Pepper is dressed as France. I'm France. George. <laughs> Pedro is America. Yeehaw! Zoe is Japan. Konnichiwa. Susie is Holland. Hello. That's Dutch for hello. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Gazelle, what do all the countries of the world do? They sing the song of harmony together. Hooray! I like singing. So do I. Does everyone remember the words? Yes, Madam Gazelle. 
for your mummies and daddies. It is playtime. <laughs> Enjoy yourselves. Play nicely together. All the countries are playing in the playground. <laughs> the United Kingdom is on the slide. Whee! France and Switzerland are on the swings. <laughs> Germany is playing hopscotch. One, two, three. America, Russia, Spain and Greece are in the sandpit. <laughs> in a big sand castle. <laughs> Yeehaw! Here are Holland and Japan. Ahem. Now it's our turn in the sand pit. Why? Because you're putting our lives at risks hanging out with a Russian spy. But we want to play here. <laughs> oh dear. There is not enough room in the sand pit for more than four countries. <laughs> What's going on? Pedro is putting our lives on the line by playing in the sandbox with a spy from Russia. But we were here first! Is Susie being a bit bossy? Yes. Yes, she is. She's being racist towards a breathing living country. George started it! Leave George alone! He's only little! <coughs> hello, hello, hello! What's all this noise about then? Nay. They're trying to push us out of the sandpit. No, we're not. George started it. That's not nice. Nice. Oh dear. The countries of the world are not playing nicely together. Peace and harmony in all the what what's that noise? Oh no! The countries are fighting! You can't play in the sand pit! Yes, we can! It's not no, fair! No, 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 no. Stop arguing! <laughs> Susie, you're always telling people what to do. No, I am not. Oh. My. Guy! <laughs> <laughs> What is happening? <laughs> Pedro is putting our safety in jeopardy by befriending a Russian spy. George has told you 100 times. He's not a spy. Yes, he is. I'm telling you. Russia has sent for him. Put him in those clothes to make it look like he's playing along. But in reality, he's a spy. Come on. How else could he have gotten those ugly... <laughs> Hello. All the parents have arrived. How is International Day going? Really bad. Excellent. Lovely. 